What's going on everybody, BrickBuilder here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft and Reviews, and guys, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new, but I have something very important to tell you guys, look at the number 5 in the top tab area, that's a bit of a problem, we've died 5 times, let me show you what happened, so, I'm down here, you know, I'm AFK and doing my thing, and I realized, oh yeah, wait, the zombies, if there's a lot of zombies here, they're gonna jump up, and they'll eventually be able to kill me, so they managed to kill me, thankfully there were hoppers here, so like this armor, and these tools were saved. I already crafted a new ender chest, which is where a lot of my items are kept anyway. Because, you know, I don't need, like, my bow and stuff on me at all times. Now, we have managed to get back some levels. I don't think we're going to be able to make a pair of... The only things we lost were a shovel and a pants. So I don't think we're going to be able to make a shovel and pants right now. Because we have to use enchanted books for it. But we have the books for it. And I'm going to make the shovel first. Because I feel like the shovel is way more important. So, we're going to do this right. So first, got to throw on that. Then you got to throw on that. And then maybe we can get... We can't get Silk Touch. We can't get them breaking on it, though. We still have to get Silk Touch. And of course, we don't have any mending books. So off camera, I'm going to be making some stuff happen in that situation. Because we do need to get some mending on our pants, which never had mending. Our shovel, which did have mending. So we'll have to do that. And then also, we got to just repair all these tools back up already. Like, they're already all half used. But today, we're going to be working on our Mesa Village over here. You know, our beautiful Mesa Village, which we have absolutely been killing it on recently. We've been doing so much work with the Mesa Village. It's going to be fantastic. I'm super excited for it. It's going to be a great, grand place. And I cannot wait for it to come closer to completion. But I am loving every minute of building this area. So, we're going to keep it up. And we did recently decorate the inside of this and build some other buildings here. So, we're going to be working a bit more on it, getting some more work done. I got some pretty ideas for some pretty cool stuff that's going to be going around here. And it's going to look great when it's all done. And I'm just super pumped up and very excited for the future of this project. So it's going to be great. And it's going to be amazing. I'm absolutely excited. So what I'm thinking is we get to work on another house right now. And I'm thinking I want to get some house over here. But first, it's a good thing we made a shovel and not pants. Because we are going to need to clear some of the sand back just a bit. I mean, it is a little bit too small of an area for us to build in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear a little bit of this back. We're going to go ahead like that. That's way too flat of an area to leave like that. We can't, you know, leave it so flat. That'll be a problem. If it's too flat, it will look just bad and unnatural. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. There we go. This should give us a ton, of, a bit more space. Maybe not a ton, but enough to do what we want to do. So I'm going to need some acacia. Log. Where is that right there? Nice. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for a pretty small, longer style house here. It's kind of what we're going for, you know? I want to have at least a little jet out over here, which means I will have to take this back just a tad bit, you know? But it'll work out okay in the end because I do want a little jet out just so we can have a little bit of a better shape to it because the most one thing we always be lacking on in this area recently. Some of these builds don't have, like, this one here specifically doesn't have, like, a very nice shape. So we need to fix that. Okay, this is kind of long, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe we don't need it this long, because that'll definitely be a problem. We're gonna go with five. Yeah, that should work. And then we're gonna throw one of those on the edge. Because if we make this area too long, it's gonna be, like, a really weird shape. Like, it's gonna be, like, the weirdest, like, um, long, I guess, trying rectangular thing not triangular why would this be triangular i don't even know but whatever and this is what five yeah all right there we go we'll go like that and then bump 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 and bump 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 does that work no all right because we want you to walk in over here so we gotta design the house like this yeah that'll work because the goal is we're gonna eventually have the pathway come up over to this that's kind of what we're going to aim for, at least. Hopefully, that'll work out. But let's just go ahead. We're just going to lower that down. Just a tad bit there like that. Beautiful. We're going to go for a decently low house over here. Like, it's going to be a low-heighted house. Because I don't want this one to be tall. I want this to be kind of low. And kind of um, low and very, like, small but long, I guess, is kind of what we're going for here. With a pretty interesting shape while we're at it, too. Because, like... As we've previously previously stated, we need the shape of all these builds to be very unique and very different. Because that's what's going to make this village, like, a different thing. Like, that's what's going to give this area its own character and its own, like, 
style is the weird shaping that we're going for on all the different builds, which will be great. So let's go ahead. We're going to pick some more red terracotta because we're going to be needing that. I am going to just hop in here quickly and just sleep the night away before that becomes a problem. There we go. We should be good. Then we can go ahead and just hop on over. But yeah, if you're wondering how I got those levels, I just smelted some more fish. We've been using that from our AFK fishing farm. We got eight more stacks of it now. We basically have like a full double chest of cooked fish that we just have kind of in the reserve, you know? Like, you know, just so whenever we need it, we have all that food. You know, we'll never have any of that food issues again, you know? It's just some good food for thought, honestly. I mean, it might seem a little bit fishy, but I really don't think it is that fishy. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and just build this up. And this is going to be how high as it's going to be, I think. Unless maybe it'll be even lower, maybe. Once we add on a roof, yeah. Because now I just realized the windows are going to be one high. I have one high windows in this one. It's going to be a really small, cramped style, but it's going to make the inside of decorating this place really nice. That's what we're going to be going for. It's got like a very interesting shape, which is like pretty crucial to this. It's not working the way we want it to. Do we have dark oak over here? Yeah, we do. All right. And do we have, any, do we have some of those? Let's make that. That should be more than enough for this build. Because, I mean, we are using dark oak stairs for roofing around here. So having an extra is a-okay with me. Because we're going to be using it a ton. Like, you don't even know how much dark oak is going to be going into this area. But thankfully, dark oak trees do give you a ton of wood. They give you so much wood, so that's going to be good. But now what we're going to do is we're going to throw a roof on here. We're just going to go for the semi-basic roof. And oh gosh, do we have a problem here? I might have to bump all of this back by one. Yeah. Mm. We're going to have a problem. We're going to have to put the door somewhere else. That could, It could be worse. The door can just go somewhere else. That won't really be a problem. Wait, all right. Let's throw this there. All right, now, now this is good because that would have been a problem if the two roofs touch we don't want that we do want this to feel cramped we can go ahead and do that we can remove those uh let's get up in here and we're gonna go bump bump like that yeah and right there we're gonna throw that now we'll have to put the door we'll have to i guess put the door there then that's all right that's an okay door location that works it's a bit more traditional but you know I'm okay with it, it works. I mean, obviously you don't want the roofs touching, so I mean, I think that takes more priority over a unique door location. After all, like, let's just be real for a second here. But now, we gotta hop on up. We do want a pretty low roof, so we're just gonna go one more there. There we go, I'm a quality parkour ninja. But we're gonna get up here, and then we're just gonna go for the very basic, simple design here of like this, just going up here. And then we're just gonna throw slabs on it, because low roof is what we're going for, you know? No jet out like some of the builds have on the top where they get like this extra thing. We don't want that on this one because that will mess the whole design kind of thing up. Okay, and we have just enough stairs. Beautiful. And we're going to need to make some slabs. So we'll go ahead and just craft up slabs. Thankfully, slabs are like, you know, you, it doesn't take much wood and you get a ton of slabs out of it. So, like, you know, it's pretty easy to do slab stuff. It's just like a cheaper way of doing the roof, save some materials, you know? And it'll still look pretty nice, which is a good thing. And yes, this build is sort of going into the savannah, but I feel like some of it's gonna have to go into the savannah because the mesa is just not big enough for us to really do what we wanna do. And honestly, with some more pre-planning, we probably could've got this in a different area and had more mesa space. But you'll be told, I want this to be a thing that as you're walking into the mesa, it really comes into focus. So that's why it's over here rather than like on the other side of the hill where there's like a ton more space. Because I want this to be like a key focus that you can see kind of in the distance. You can see it in the distance from the uh, spawn village, which is kind of another cool feature about it. I want it to be something that's visible from a distance, you know. Kind of have that little shape to it that, you know, you can see it like just another village is in the distance, you know. Not that all of our villages that we build in this world are going to be close enough for you to really be able to do anything with. But having this, you know, having this village here pretty close is definitely going to be a good thing. Because I kind of like having this house and this whole village in render distance. I don't know, just kind of like a personal preference thing. Alright, we're going to go with white terracotta for the floor in here. So this is going to have a bit more of a clean style. And maybe now that I think about it, I actually have an idea for the floor that's a little bit unique to this building. And we could possibly transfer it to other builds if we want to in the world. 
you know. So I think we're going to do is, that only gives us 11 sandstone. Wow, we did not get a lot of sandstone out of that one. Yeah, you don't get a lot of sandstone. That's a thing. But maybe we'll have just enough to do what we need. Uh, 40 will be kind of pushing it, but maybe we can make it work. Do we have any... Okay, good. We have what we need. So, we're going to try four. Is we can go for a checkerboard pattern if we wanted to. And I feel like this could actually work pretty nicely, so we might go ahead and use it. Hopefully we'll have enough. We are pretty limited on our materials, but we should have enough, yes. And then we can go ahead and use white uh, terracotta for the other one. And the reason why I want to do this is just because I want this house to have a different feel to it than the other ones. I want this one to be more alive. You know, although it's cramped, it's got to have a nice, um, I guess, like, interior to it. That's, like, the important part of this one. It is really focusing on the homely aspect of it because this here is going to become just a nice little house inside the village. And we do still need to buy, well, not buy, we need to still build a nice chest room. If only we could buy houses. We still have to build, like, a nice chest storage location in here in the Mesa Village, but we can always do that at some point in the future. So for now, we're going to go ahead and do this here and just, you know, make that a happen right like us. So it's looking pretty good if you ask me. I think that is definitely working out. And of course, we're just a tad bit short. So we're going to go ahead and make just a little bit more. And you know what? Now that I think about it, let's just bump this crafting table into here, you know? For now, whatever. Because I mean, we are going to need it. So hopefully that'll be enough. Yes, that should be perfect quantity right there let's go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and break into that and we're gonna place some torches just above the windows you know pretty easy location for torches in this house and it's gonna be very lit up maybe that's a little too many torches i don't think we actually need that many so i'm gonna take down a couple just don't really you know want to have too many torches on the wall only what we need we're gonna need a little bit of glass so i should probably just grab some glass that should be good 18 and that 30 will definitely be more than enough because we also don't have that much glass in this build, which is kind of a good thing. I don't really want to have too much windows in this build here because it would really ruin that like, kind of low look we're going for, you know? Like, I want this build to kind of like have a little bit more of a lay low kind of style to it, you know? Where like it's very small in um, size in comparison to the other village houses, I guess. And we can pop on in here and we're going to throw right over here just a nice little table thing. And then I guess we'll just have to figure out what else we want to put in here. So let's go see what we have material-wise. Anything we can really do, you know? What color is the bed in here? Because I want to replicate the same bed color, I think. All right, we got a gray bed in here. So maybe what we can do is we can do a gray bed. That's a couple extra, but whatever. I think we could do a gray bed. I'm down for that. I think that could be pretty nice, you know? Let's put a little gray bed in here. Beautiful. We can put that right. Hmm. Where do we want to fill? We can fill right here with that. Nice. And then over here, we're gonna go ahead and do this and just run this across here. You know, just very plain, very simple. Maybe we can go bump, bump. Like, ooh, actually, we could do like a little build-out thing over here, which would look probably pretty nice. You know, we're gonna go ahead and just do like this little extra, like little. Um, I guess you can call it, uh, okay, maybe. Uh, it's a little bit big, but I think we're going to leave it because, I mean, it, it could work. And don't ask me why it's here. Honestly, I don't really know why it's here. It just is, so we're just going to leave it. And I think that'll work. That just fills up a lot of space, which is kind of what we're going for. You know, it's got, like, an interesting vibe to it, I guess. You know, we can make that into a little couch area, I guess. You know, we throw a couch here. With like the little signs on the wooden bench chair thing, you know, that'll work. That works. Just any way, any, you know, way to take up space at this point, honestly, is just something we're gonna need. And maybe I'll throw a bit more of chair stuff over here. That could work. And then, what we could do in the middle is we could do one of those makeshift tables. Probably not the greatest table design, but it works. You know, we'll do that. And then what you do is you just go bump bump. And you get pressure plates and you stick them on top. Works good if you ask me. I'm gonna remove that, remove that, remove that, and remove that. So we just have, uh, we're gonna throw that, that there. Throw another one there. And I'll do double here, obviously, and then another one there, boom. 
Looks pretty good if you ask me. I think that table definitely works, you know? And the nice little corner back here so they can play cards or whatever they want this family here. But honestly, that's going to wrap it up today. We just built this nice little mess of, um, village house here. And we also got back on our feet, which is pretty important because, like, you know, we did die, so we got our shovel back. And we got back on our feet working again onto the mess up project here. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to check out my Twitter and Discord. But I will see you guys in yet another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.